Toyota AB60E bow body. Let's get into it. Let's show you what's inside. First thing we're going to want to do is get rid of these solenoids. Eight millimeter bolt. Another eight millimeter bolt. Underneath these, there is little pins that engage into the solenoids to hold them in, like so. Now we have a few more, and these are all held by 10 millimeter bolts. These two are both retained by one bolt. This one has to go in first, and that one needs to go on top of it. This one holds a bracket. So we're gonna kind of lay them out how they exist in the transmission. All right. Now, another thing to note here, there's two different styles of valve bodies. This one is a two temperature sensor style. Some of them only have one temperature sensor, but you could interchange them by putting a 3 8 cup plug in one of the holes and blocking it off if necessary. On to the other side. This is the casting number by which we identify it. This is an 89020. And also on the separator plates, you'll see it's an L01. All right, and these are, these are the numbers you're gonna see all the time, this is the, the common ones. So now we have several sections of this valve body. We're gonna take this piece off first. Another bracket here. We're going to keep all these bolts together and you got to go back into the same hole that these bolts came from. Otherwise you could cause other problems if you have the wrong length bolts or things like that. Okay, so under this section there's really no check balls or not, not anything you need to worry about. Now over here we have another separator plate in the section of the valve body. So in here, we have several trek balls, so we're gonna mark where they are. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. bolts. And this is going to hold the two halves of the valve box together. Okay, now we're going to lift this plate up from here because this has a whole bunch of check balls and we don't want to drop them. So we'll turn that over like that. Now we can kind of slide it off to make sure the check balls don't stay stuck to it. On this side, we only have a couple things. 
we have a little screen here and then we have another blow-off valve assembly so that's going to be a valve and a spring and that goes right here there's also a piece that likes to fall out of these so we take that apart preemptively This is something you gotta watch out for. This is always gonna fall out on you. And you could mark it if you like. Turn this over to drain for a minute. Now this side, again, we have no check balls to worry about, but we do have another separator plate and another section of the valve body. All right. Now we have some more check balls here. Let's mark them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Is that all of them? Oh, there's 11. Well, it looks like somebody worked on this and they neglected to put one of the check balls in. This is the confusion, so I'm going to put a mark there. And dump out our check balls. This retainer is something that also falls out, and that goes here. I don't want to get too far into the internals of this, but this is um, kind of how one would go about checking a valve body. You want to move the valves and make sure they're not stuck. And these valve bodies are notorious for wearing out, so there's going to be um, a couple of valve bores that are not going to be right, and they're going to have to get rebored and, and um, done over one of which is the, um, very common that the pressure regulator valve needs to get redone. So in this, we're gonna, you see this has three different steps on it. This is in the middle step, so that's where we're gonna leave it. So we gotta push that down a little bit and that clip comes out. This is a special clip that is only used in this particular valve. We'll take this on out. I don't know if you could see in here. It's a very common source of wear right in here. All right, this valve rides in here and they get loose from years and years of use. So this boost sleeve assembly is something that's gonna to need to get changed. Next is a spring. Down in here is a valve and a retainer. This is your pressure regulator valve and this retainer. And this is another item that likes to wear out. So we get down in this bore, this wears out down in this area, and what we have to do is bore it oversize, and we put an oversize valve, but that's that's gonna be the subject of another video. So at this point, this is um, most of what we have in here. This has gotta all come apart. We're gonna take all the valves out, clean everything, but we're gonna leave it at this for now. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.